welcome to a random this video! Woo! Today I'm going to show you how to start your very own scrapbook. Because if you're like me and you love taking photos, you probably have tons of pictures that are stashed away in big bulky boxes or unflattering photo albums or just collecting dust on your, on your bookshelves. If that's the case, it's time to take out the photo albums, take out the photos, dust off that dust, and start your own scrapbook. This is the second album I've made. Starting a new scrapbook can be a bit overwhelming, but with a few tips, you too can begin creating a visual journal of your memories. First, pick an album. It can be a large one, small one, or something not so traditional like a mini album or accordion album. Then take a trip to your local craft store and stock up on lots of acid-free paper. Make sure to get a variety of colors, shapes, sizes, and patterns. Pick out accents like stickers, ribbons, beads, or rub-ons. Now I'm going to start the first page of my new album with some photos that I took while I was in New York. I've already picked out the photos I want to use and the background paper and some stickers. Now all I have to do is crop my photos, place them, glue them, and I'll have the first page in my new album. There's no wrong way to create a page. Your pages can have themes or color schemes and be as detailed as you want. There are many scrapbooking books and magazines available at bookstores and craft stores for ideas and new techniques. This is the final product of my first page in my new scrapbook. I scrapbooked some pictures that I took in New York City. Now, it may not be that intricate of a page, but on top of it, I'm going to place this transparency of the um, Statue of Liberty. And once I put it over, it creates a great facade, being able to look through my photos of New York City through it with the image of the Statue of Liberty on the side, making this a great first page to my new scrapbook. Once you have mastered scrapbooking on paper, you can move on to other mediums like photo cubes, old DVD boxes, clipboards, and even candles.